All right, now to stunning new developments in the trial of Ghislaine Maxwell, a woman identified only by the pseudonym Jane. She says disgraced financier Jeffrey Epstein took her to meet Donald Trump in the 1990s when she was just 14. NBC News correspondent for investigations Tom Winter joins us now. Tom, good morning. You've been following this for us, and now you're outside the courthouse again. So it's important to note that that woman did not say Trump acted inappropriately. But have we reached out to the former president? Has he said anything about Wednesday's testimony? And what exactly did she say? Good morning, Savannah. That's correct. She did not uh, say that the former president acted inappropriately in any way. She also really didn't characterize how that meeting went down, and she wasn't even asked about it. To your question, yes, uh, the NBC News political unit did reach out to the former president and his representatives uh, for any sort of comment. Trump, uh, it came out in the proceedings day's uh, testimony that uh, he was uh, on Jeffrey Epstein's plane, according to Jeffrey Epstein's pilot, and traveled on that plane as well. Uh, that's something we had heard about before, but it was the first time somebody has said it in open court. I think it's interesting that the defense is the one that is bringing up all of these associations with uh, celebrity names, former presidents, presidents, including former President Bill Clinton. So it's not something that prosecutors are raising. It's something that the defense team has brought up in court uh, in, in their cross examination. Uh, they've also included Prince Andrew in that, as well as several uh, bold faced celebrity names. So we'll just have to see if the president has responded. Uh, and, and he hasn't responded yet to any of his other uh, previous mentions in court. So we'll be following it closely, Savannah. Now, Jane testified that she was regularly abused by Epstein and also by Maxwell. Tell us more about what she shared and also how the defense is responding to her testimony. Right. So yesterday was um, the bulk of her testimony was focused on cross examination. The defense attorneys asking her questions, and what they what they did is what they really telegraphed in their opening statement, Savannah, which is go after the credibility of their wit of these witnesses and also their memory. They've really focused on that. They've also talked about payments uh, that some of these uh, women have received. So the, the questioning was all on those lines, trying to use her prior statements to law enforcement, which were summarized by the FBI in their reports, which are commonly referred to as 302 reports and compare that to her testimony in court and some of the things that they say uh, happened to her. It's up to the jury, obviously, to determine uh, whether or not there's uh, uh, whether or not that was a successful line of uh, questioning. Savannah. All right. Tom Winter, thank you so much. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.